All right, we're going to talk about a brief summary of politics right now. I'm pretty sure we are reaching the point of absolute insanity. You got freaking um, AOC, one of her alleged supporters, the liberals or Democrats are saying she was a plant, but she was saying that they need to... Um, kill babies to stop global warming and then I saw people out in DC protesting like promoting like the death of children makes zero freaking sense I mean we already know that the elite ultra rich are all in this together and it's just a facade if you will to create a massive divide and then you got Trump Tweeting like this bizarre shit. Like, what did he have? Like, yesterday he had a tweet with like Pinocchio and like all this uh, crap about the um, uh, what do you like his impeachment or whatever you want to call it. It's all just a waste of time, man. It's such a colossal waste of time. And I read the comments on both ends, just people like talking mad crap and just trolling it's like do you not have anything better to do with your life also with if college were to be free take a look at any product if a product becomes free it is essentially worthless right there's no value to it it'd be like if everybody had silver bars there'd be no value to silver anymore the reason why silver well the reason why gold is worth more than silver is because not everybody has gold. Silver's gotten devalued because there's more of it and more people have it. I think it's still more, worth more than the U.S. currency because we just, you know, hit the printing pl press up and freaking print coin or print cash all day left and right and then pretend like everything's A-OK. -okay. So I think all in all, we're just going to head for a major crash. It's just going to be a monster freaking crash because like everything's being pumped up and I feel like it's only so that the elite get richer because the middle class has been depleted. They don't, they don't like hardly even have any money anymore. The middle class is like gone, you know, and then the poor, they're always poor. So they really make no difference in the, the game. However, the elite, if you check them out, they've been making more money than freaking ever. Like Pritzer, for instance. Pritzer from the uh, governor in Chicago <laughs> freaking was hiding billions of dollars offshore somehow still in office and then uh, had $350,000 in uh, or three, it was either 300000 or 350000 in uh, uh, property tax fraud because he like uninstalled his toilets for a tax break to avoid taxes and it just makes no sense to me because it's like well if this dude's some ultra elite rich guy and his family owns like the high, like they own a, I don't think they own the entire thing, but they own a portion of the Hyatt uh, hotels. And that's how they got their money. And uh, it just blows my mind. It's like, who the fuck are you voting for? Like what in the world? Just put all these cons in here and just let like psychopaths, just freaking let them run wild, you know? Anyways, end of this rant. Peace.